Good day fellow noobs. Today we're going to learn uh, what you can do if you want to get the number of days between two days. Okay, so let's just get into it. So I prepared the sample data here. Uh, so let's say you have two sets of dates. You get, let's say you have a date received and you have a date processed and you want to get the the number of days between those two dates but inside Power Query. Okay, so let's go do that. So we're gonna pull this in Power Query first. So we're gonna click on Data, and we're gonna going to select from Table and Range, and we're going to click OK. And let's wait for it to load. And okay, so once we're inside the Query Editor, so it's good practice to change the data types to the correct one. So for this one, we're going to change it to a date because by default Power Query changes it to a date, date time if you notice here let's put it into date okay so the next step is so this is where we actually get the number of days between those so going to select we're going to click add column and then date here and then subtract this and let's just close and load it say on the existing worksheet so if we look here between January 1 and January 3 there is a difference of two days so it looks like this is correct yeah and so for example here if you get the date received is larger than date process you get a negative number okay so one note it's important here so one important thing to bring up here is uh, the order of how you click the columns is important because uh, Power Query assumes that that's that's going to be the order when it builds the subtraction formula. For example, if I click uh, if I click date receive first and then press Control, then I click on date process and I go to the same process. So click on subtract this. I'm getting a negative two number because if you look at the formula that it created here, it selected the date received first and then the date processed. And on the first one, I clicked on date processed first and then date received. So just that's just an important thing to bring up when you want to get the difference of these two dates. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this now. One use for this is, for example, if you are monitoring metrics, let's say if you have uh, uh, an SLA or KPI that says you you want uh, your items to be processed well within two days. Now, anything beyond two days, you want to put a sort of a condition that you know to remind you so this is one this is one use in power query that you can make and that's it i hope you find this useful if you have any questions uh, please feel free to type it in below uh, thank you and uh, good night